Cocaine Bear may have been deadly for its characters, but the cast reportedly had a blast making the film. Here's what their drugged-up Predator co-star looked like in real life. Beth, we should go. Make no mistake, while Cocaine Bear has a few big-name talents in its cast, the bear is the real star of the show. Of course, no amount of wrangling could allow the production team to use a real bear for all of the wild sequences in the movie. So how did they get the right version on screen? As it turns out, the drug-addled creature was actually played by a motion-capture performer with a surprisingly impressive background. Director Elizabeth Banks was well aware of the risks of making a movie with such a wild narrative. Still, she was set on developing Cocaine Bear with serious themes and more substance than just a bunch of over-the-top violence. That means that she went all out on the production, insisting they recruit top-notch players, including the actor who would bring the bear to life. Luckily, the perfect person was available, Alan Henry, a motion capture performer who trained under, among other talents, Andy Serkis. In the field of motion capture, Serkis pretty much changed the game through his work on films like the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Planet of the Apes franchise. Alan Henry sports some mean credits himself, too. He's done motion capture for some of the best superhero movies of all time, such as Avengers Endgame. Outside of superhero franchises, he has a slew of appearances in other franchises like The Hobbit and The Hunger Games. According to Banks, getting a talent of Henry's caliber for the motion capture was necessary for how demanding the role was. Banks told Jimmy Fallon that Henry deserves credit for all the work he did. He walks as a quadruped on all fours on these like special, you, like anybody would, you blow your back out in two seconds. Of like, course. It takes a lot of training. Portraying the killer bear may have been tough for Henry, but the actor seemed to enjoy his time in the production. He tweeted, I had such a blast working on this film. Elizabeth is a great director with strong dramatic and comedic instinct. I have to hand it to the VFX team. They added so much powdery glory to the work I did on set. While Cocaine Bear is a hell of a movie, shooting the film was as surreal of an experience as one might expect, especially when it came time for the actors to shoot alongside Henry. In talking about Henry and motion capture performers in general, Kerry Russell told The Daily Beast, These guys are amazing, but also it is a grown man in a unitard acting like a bear in front of you. Despite the weirdness of filming, it still gave Henry a chance to bond with his fellow castmates and crew members when he wasn't pretending to be a bear on hard drugs. Cast member O'Shea Jackson Jr. told Digital Spy that the team took to calling the bear Alan. Meanwhile, Alden Ehrenreich said Henry got his very own trailer on the set of the production, which simply featured the identifying term bear on its exterior. Knowing that Henry was acting as a bear in the original footage for Cocaine Bear is the sort of thing that might stick in the mind of viewers on their next watch. As Elizabeth Banks put it in an interview with Variety, You don't see a single frame of him in the movie, but I feel his spirit in all of the shots of Cocaine Bear. 